I have only one thing in mind, and that is your best interest. I will try to close that integrity gap. The Congress no topic was off limits as the two main nominees for the 8th Congressional District face off. In a debate hosted by the League of Women Voters and Fox 11, the candidates discussed Social Security, jobs, and their plans for the future. Complete coverage of the debate from St. Norbert College tops Fox 11 News at 9 as you decide 2010. It's down to the wire for the nominees with Election Day less than a month away. Republican Reed Ribble and Democrat incumbent Steve Kagan each laid out why voters should choose them. So who do, you do, who do you agree with? Fox 11's Becky DeVries has balanced coverage. Well before the first question was asked, dozens of supporters for both candidates expressed their opinions outside the debate hall. But inside, the nominees in a quieter setting weighed in on a variety of topics. The first, Social Security. First of all, I oppose privatization in Social Security. And secondly, I believe that we have a problem with Social Security and demagoguing the issue and, and uh, trying to separate us uh, doesn't do any good. I got in this race to protect my grandchildren, but I also want to protect seniors. Social Security works, so there's no need to personalize it. There's no need to privatize it. And we shouldn't ever consider the idea of raising the age at which you could begin to get your benefits. Both men vying for a seat in Congress were asked about specific plans to develop jobs in Northeast Wisconsin. Well, the most important thing we could do today is to allow small businesses to have access to credit at a price they can afford to pay, make sure that small businesses, who are the real economic engine of America, have access to credit. We have to have clarity of vision. The, the next thing we need to do is we have to let the business owners have some level of certainty in the regulatory and tax environment. They need to know what's coming ahead, and if they know that, then maybe they'll take those workers off of overtime and bring a new body in. And the third thing we need to do is we need to make sure that consumers have confidence. Ribble says once those things are in place, capital will begin to flow through the economy and employers will begin to hire and the economy will begin to grow. Candidates also talked about education. Ribble says states, parents, and local teachers should control it, not the federal government. Kagan says federal stimulus money has helped a lot of school districts in northeast Wisconsin during a tough economic time. And the debate continued after the nominees left the stage. We caught up with a couple of people after the event that had a wide variety of opinions on just how the nominees did. Tonight, we have multiple views. I thought that Congressman Kagan surely demonstrated his uh, professional ability to answer the questions directly and honestly and then there's a uh, I think a major difference between the experience shown at, at this debate. Overall I felt that Kagan stood there and read whereas um, Ribble, Mr. Ribble um, really uh, considered his answers and uh, K uh, Kagan's was canned and Ribble's was a lot more thoughtful. I thought the questions were very good. Um, I thought they were very fair questions. Um, I thought that they allowed us to differentiate the candidates. And the theater at St. Norbert College, where the debate was held, holds about 700 people and was near capacity tonight. Laura? Thanks, Becky. And for those who could not make it out to the event tonight, we will be airing the debate in its entirety this weekend. You can see it this Saturday at 7 p.m. right here on Fox 11.